sewing tutorial. My name is Anne Sophie and I'm the person behind Sewing with Solana and today we're making the Rachel skirt. It's a mini skirt, we have a slit on the side, then we sew in an invisible zipper and yeah, I'm gonna link the sewing pattern for you down below. I always love making mine out of linen but you can obviously also use different fabric. I think also using a wool fabric would be super nice and then you also need an invisible zipper, then you need a zipper foot to attach to your sewing machine when we sew in the zipper but yeah I'm gonna show you everything as we go this is a super easy follow along sewing tutorial so even if you haven't been sewing for a while or maybe this could even be your first ever sewing project don't be intimidated by sewing in a zipper I don't like sewing them to be honest but every time I finished attaching a zipper like sewing in a zipper to a piece of clothing I'm like oh my god that was so easy what was I worried about I'm gonna show you how I do it this is just the way I sew in a zipper I know there's also different ways but this is just the way that works best for me um but yeah let's go and I'll teach you everything as we go here's everything you need to make the Rachel skirt you need the sewing pattern I'm gonna link it for you down below then you need some pins a seam opener in case you make a mistake and we need an invisible zipper and yours should also be 25 centimeters long you want to make sure that it's matching the color of your fabric and then you need this foot that we're gonna attach to our sewing machine and this is gonna help us sew in the invisible zipper then I always have some small scissors to cut off the thread then a measuring tape, fabric scissors, paper scissors to cut out the sewing pattern and some tape to glue the sewing pattern together. And then I always sew in my little label. And then you also need some sewing thread and I would also recommend you that it matches the fabric you're working with. So I'm gonna take my fabric. I have 70 centimeters of linen fabric. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna start pinning my sewing pattern on here. So I'm first gonna take the front middle piece and it needs to be cut out one time on fold. So I'm gonna put it right here where the fabric is folded. Then we have the back that we need to cut out two times and because the fabric is folded in half, we pin it on here, cut it out and then we have it twice. And the side piece we also need to cut out two times, so I'm going to put it here. And then we have the waistband, which needs to be cut out one time on fold. So I'm also going to put this part here on the folded edge. And now we can cut it out. So here we have the side piece and now where you can say back, uh, where it says front, uh, oh gosh, where it says back and here it says front. So later on this side we need to sew onto this side here and then this side will be sewn onto this side over here so like this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the sewing pattern off and then I'm going to pin one needle over here so I know later on where the back is or which side needs to be sewn onto the back and one here. So now here where I put the needle, this means it's this side of the skirt. So this side needs to be sewn onto the back later on. Then here we have the front and if we take the sewing pattern off and if we fold the fabric apart again, we have our front pattern piece. And then here with the back, there's one thing I want us to do. So we take one of the pins and we pin it right in the corner of the dart here. And then here we're going to make a half centimeter deep cut here and then also over here. And now we can take all the pins off. And then we flip this over. And we also, oops, uh, we also have two back pieces here now and now carefully we're going to pull the two pieces of fabric apart and then I'm also going to stick a pin right where this one was. So it's going to look like this. 
and this will help us sew the dart. So here where our little cuts are, our little notches, we can then line it up and then we sew the dart from where the cut is here to where the pin is. I'm going to show you that later on, but you just want to make sure that the two back pieces, that they are mirrored now. And then here we have our waistband. And also when we fold it open, it's gonna look like this. And the first thing we're gonna start doing now is we're gonna sew our darts so we don't have to worry about them later on. And now you wanna make actually sure that the head of the pin here is on the bad side of the fabric. My fabric doesn't have a good and a bad side, so it doesn't matter, but if your fabric has a print or a good and a bad side, you wanna make sure that you have the dart on the bad side of the fabric like this. So I sometimes like to pin a needle in here where my two little cuts are. And now we go to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew from right here where the little cuts are to down here. And then we're gonna do the same to the other back piece. I have my sewing machine set to a straight stitch, the length to two and a half, and my needle is in the middle. So, and now I'm gonna start sewing here, where we have the little half centimeter deep cuts. And at the beginning we can front and back stitch, and then down here when we get here we don't front and back stitch. And then we can do the other side as well, the other back piece. And at the top here we can just cut the thread off because we front and back stitch. And then down here we can just pull the two threads apart and then we're gonna make three knots. And then I'm gonna leave around one centimeter of thread here and the rest I can cut off. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other back piece. Whoops. And now we can go over to our iron. And I'm gonna iron the dart now towards the straight side here. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other piece. I'm gonna sew the dart to the straight side. And now we have to do quite a little bit of overlocking. If you don't have an overlocker, you can just go to your normal sewing machine and use a zigzag stitch. I'm gonna link a video for you down below as well. And first we're gonna overlock all the sides. So from here, then here. Then the same for the other back piece. We overlock this side, we overlock this side. Then for the long waistband, we're gonna overlock this part here and then the two sides. And then for the middle piece, for the front, we're gonna overlock from here to here. And then again for the two side pieces, we're gonna overlock the sides here as well. Okay, so here we have our two back pieces and as you can see the darts here are facing the table so that means the good side is facing me and this is where the straight side was like now because we've sewn the darts it doesn't look so straight anymore but here you can see the curve which means on those sides we need to sew our side piece and 
Again, we have put a pin in here to remind us which side of the side piece needs to be sewn onto the back. So here where we put the pin, that side needs to be sewn onto the back piece. And then the same for this side. Here we have the pin. So this side needs to be sewn onto the back piece and not this side. And if your fabric has a good, a good and a bad side, you want to make sure that the two good sides are facing each other. And now we're going to sew from here to there with a one centimeter seam allowance and then the same over here. And now we press that seam open. Okay, so here is what it looks like now. Later on, where's my zipper? Yeah, so I'm just gonna take this off. So later on, we're gonna sew in the zipper here in between the two back pieces. But now we need to sew the last piece of the skirt, not the last one, we still have the waistband, but the front middle part here. So basically, it's gonna later look like this. Like this. Wait, these are gonna be together like this with the zipper in the between. I'm just showing this so we get a bit more of a visual so you know what we're doing. So this is what it's gonna look like later. And then this is gonna be here. And we want to have a little slit on one of the sides. You could also do them on both of the sides. I'm gonna do it on one side. And I think I'm gonna do it on my, I don't know, let me look at my other photos. So here it was on the right leg, then here it was on the left leg, also left, also left, wait. No, sorry, here it's also on the left. I was so confused because it was a mirror photo. So here, yeah, always on the left. So I think that's what I'm gonna do now. So then that would make it that here on this side, I'm gonna leave a slit. So first I'm gonna sew it on this side where I don't wanna leave the slit. So I'm just gonna fold this apart again. So the good side of the front and the side is facing me. And then I take the front pattern piece. If you have a good, good and a bad side, you wanna make sure that the two good sides are facing each other here. And now I'm just gonna pin and sew it all along here. Now I'm gonna press the seam open again. Somehow my camera didn't record the audio for the next two clips, so I'm doing a quick voiceover. So now I need to put the other side piece in front of me and I put a pin in where I want my side slit to start. So from the top of the skirt, it's around 28.5 centimeters down. So for a size small from the end of the skirt, it's around a 16 centimeter long slit. 
and then I put the two pieces together where I need to sew them so I have the front piece with the good side facing me and then I put the side piece with the bad side facing me so the two good sides are facing each other and then I pin it from the top of the skirt from the waist part all the way down to where I put my little pin inside and then I sew from the top to where I want my slit to start. And now I just go over to my iron and I'm going to press the seam open and then I'm, then I'm also going to press the seam allowance of the where the slit is to the side, just like you can see in the video here. So now we take our zipper and what we want to do is we want to iron the teeth here away from the zipper tape like so this is considered the tape those are the teeth and we want to iron them away from the tape now just because it's going to help us to sew closer to the teeth which is going to make it look nicer later on. We want to sew later as close as possible to the teeth. So here you can already see the difference, here it's already ironed and here it's not ironed yet. So now it's gonna look like this. Now one thing I always do, I just sew off the little zigzag up here. I've always just done that. And now we can take our skirt. So here we have the back of the skirt right now with the good side of the back of the skirt facing us. And later we want the zipper to be sewn in like this. So we want the zipper to be later like this, which means this side here, this left side needs to be sewn on the zipper like this. So right now the inside of the zipper is facing us and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this up now and now I'm just gonna pin it in place so when I go over to my sewing machine it just stays where it needs to. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna sew, we're gonna fold this apart. So we're gonna sew from the top down here and you're gonna make sure that the zipper tape is staying like lining up with the edge of the fabric. I'm not pinning it in place while sewing, I'm just gonna pin it in place now, but then I'm gonna take the pins off. But yeah, the closer when we get around here, I'm gonna stop sewing a front and back stitch, and then I take the zipper slider, and then I close my zipper up, and then I'm gonna start sewing again from where we had stopped, and then I sew all the way to the end. I'm gonna show you now on the sewing machine. And the first thing we need to do now is we need to change the foot of our sewing machine. And now I'm gonna attach it not on this side but on the left side here. And you just want to try and sew really close to the teeth right now.
And now I'm gonna front and back stitch. Take this off and I'm gonna cut the thread. Now I'm gonna close my zipper. And now I'm gonna start sewing again where I have stopped. So I'm gonna continue sewing right here. So here we have one side of the zipper done now and now we're going to fold it in half. So the good side is facing us right now, fold it in half and now this part of the zipper needs to be sewn onto this side of the skirt. And now I'm going to open it again. And now we're going to do exactly the same, but on the other side, right here. I'm going to move this over now. Okay, so the next step now is to close the little back part here, like so the two, like below the zipper down. So I'm just gonna pin it in place. And then we're just gonna sew with a one centimeter seam allowance from here. And then you wanna stop really close to where you have stopped attaching the zipper. So here's my stitching where I have sewn the zipper in. So we're gonna start from down here and then we're gonna stop really close, like one centimeter more or less above where we have sewn the zipper onto the fabric. Okay, now we need to attach the waistband. I have just sewn in one of my labels. So this is what I now consider my good side. And then we go over here and I'm just gonna, let me actually cut off some of those threads here. I'm gonna open the zipper up now. And now the zipper usually is like this, but now I'm going to fold it open like this. And now good side, good side. Going to pin this in here. And then we're going to pin this all the way at the waistband together. Just make sure when you sew that the darts are not going towards the front, but they stay facing the zipper. And then also when I sew over here where I've sewn two pieces together, I try and make sure that they're staying pressed apart and not accidentally go over like this. And now on the other side I'm doing the same, I'm folding this apart.
And now first I'm gonna start sewing here with a one centimeter seam allowance all the way around till I finish here. And then I'm also gonna sew the sides here down from here to here. And then the same over here. I'm gonna go back to our to my overlock machine and I'm gonna overlock the waist part here so I'm gonna start on one side over here and then I finish over here and then while I overlock it will automatically cut all this off but I think just because it looks so messy right now sometimes I like to already cut them off before just a little bit and again if you don't have an overlock machine just do it with your normal sewing machine and use a zigzag stitch. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up like this and I'm gonna sew the seam allowance here onto the waistband. So I'm not gonna start all the way over here because I won't be able to get to there with my sewing machine. So I'm just gonna start a few centimeters away, more or less where the dart starts. And then I'm gonna sew relatively close to here. So I'm gonna sew right here all the way till we get over here. Okay, we are nearly finished now. Oh my God, this video, seeing myself right now, makes me need to book an appointment to hairdresser. Anyways, what you should do now is you should try your skirt on just to figure out if you like how long your slit here in the front is, or maybe if you wanna make it a bit bigger or if you wanna close it a little bit more. And then also to figure out how long or short you want yours to be. Um, so yeah, there's only two steps left. First, we need to sew this where the slit is here. We need to sew that down and then we just need to hem it. So let's go. So now you wanna make sure that the good side of the skirt is facing you and I'm gonna sew here this part, the seam allowance onto the fabric. And I'm gonna sew around half a centimeter away from this edge here. And now I make sure my needle is down, then I lift my foot, then I sew across here, then I make sure my foot is, my needle is down so I can lift the foot. And now the last step is to hem the end of your skirt. So I'm just gonna cut this off here. And now I'm gonna fold it around one to one and a half centimeters in, and then in again. And then I'm just gonna start here at this opening where the slit is. And then I sew all the way around. If you want to, you can pin everything in place. You can iron it first, then pin it go straight to your sewing machine, completely up to you. And 
and that's the end of this video today. I really hope you were able to follow along. Please send me photos, send me videos of your Rachel skirt. I always love seeing how your pieces turn out. I always love to see how you style them and which color you make them, which fabric you use. It's always so inspirational to me. So yeah, take many photos, take many videos and I hope I see you soon again. Goodbye. Thank you.